this project is focused in understanding the foraging behavior of beluga whales. This population of belugas here in Cook Inlet is endangered and it's declining, so we are in a rush to understand what's uh, wrong with them and how can we prevent extinction. Cook Inlet is, is a very challenging place to work uh, underwater. There's very strong currents, 30 to 32 feet of tide, and ice in winter, a lot of sediment. So we're basically using acoustic sound to study these animals. And so one of the problems we find is the water leaking into the instrument. The key element in, in the failure of these instruments is the O-rings. When those fail, just a few drops of water will be enough to basically fry the electronics. We approached different companies. One of them that we talked to was Apple Rubber. And they are still with two O-rings, but uh, we are having problems with these O-rings. My name is John Tranquilli. I've worked for Apple Rubber for almost 30 years. Myself and my team, we work with customers on troubleshooting projects when material becomes an issue. To me, the key here is to find the right O-ring, and, and I think your company and you guys have the expertise. The Apple Rubber team got to work finding a solution for its problems. We needed to keep the recording device used for its research dry, which meant we had to contend with factors like exposure to salt water, freezing temperatures, and strong currents. Our in-house mold-making capabilities allow us to provide fast and economical prototype to production. Over the course of three days, we've created O-rings out of two types of materials, both of which are outstanding for water and don't cause any sulfur outgassing. We sent these to Cook and Let for Manuel to try out. Yeah, so we were able to pull out the, one of the instruments that we deployed earlier with uh, uh, the Apple rubber O-rings that we tested for the first time. It, it's hard to say until we open it, so when we will open it, we'll find out, but it definitely looks like uh, it didn't leak. We couldn't hear any water in it, and it looked uh, perfectly okay from the outside, so it seems promising. Yeah, so far it's looking good. I don't see any drip. There we go. Ooh, look Ooh. at that, perfect. Okay, let's just connect it and see if it's recording. Okay, let's play this one. Ooh, look at that right nice, there. Nice, right away. Yeah, look at all these whistles there. That's pretty cool. It's actually cold. Yeah, you can hear all the ones in the background and there, and then yeah. this guy. Hello, Manuel. How the, how'd the project turn out? Hi, John. Thank you. Fine. So we picked up four instruments so far, and they are all dry. We have uh, great data on them. So no signs of leakage. I think those those rings are doing their job pretty well. That's great to hear. We uh, look forward yeah, to working on more projects with you. O-rings are very basic. They're used in many applications, but they're very complex because you have to have the right groove, you have to have the right seal, you have to have the right design, you have to have the right material. Apple Rover loves taking these types of projects because we always want to support our critical infrastructure, our critical natural resources. We really want to thank you, Apple Rubber, for all their support and all their help with this project. It really makes a difference to have uh, the right expertise uh, helping us in these projects.